Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in this video I'm going to be covering the top 10 most annoying things in GTA 5 Online. But just before this video begins, if you guys could just take a few seconds of your time to like the video, it would help me out greatly. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, let's get straight into the video. So starting off in 10th place, we of course have the very annoying phone calls, which you seem to receive every minute when playing on GTA 5 Online. And of course these phone calls are from the GTA 5 characters, and when they do call you up, they don't actually have anything relevant to say, but instead they just waste your time for a few seconds and then hang up on you. Which is why I'm going to be placing this annoying thing in 10th place. I'm sure we have all been in the same situation when you're trying to cross the road and a random AI bot driver just smashes straight into your body which of course knocks you to the ground. Now what you also find with this is that when you are on the ground the driver doesn't get out of his car to try and help you even though you're badly hurt and most likely bleeding. Instead what they do is they honk their horn, they then drive around you and continue on on their journey without seeing if you're okay. I find this situation extremely annoying, which is why I'm going to be placing this situation in 9th place. There is always that one player who feels the need to attack others who are completely defenseless and have no intentions of actually doing anything when playing online. Just as an example, I'm showing you something in the video which seems to always happen to me. I was walking around minding my own business with no intentions of actually doing anything, but of course someone came along and they decided to knock me down and keep driving over my body until I was dead. This is completely unnecessary, very inconvenient, and it's also very annoying. Ah, uh, I can't bring it right now, boss. Another very annoying situation, which I seem to always struggle with, is when I'm desperately in need of a car, either when I'm in the middle of nowhere or right next to a road, and when I call my mechanic up to request a car, he tells me he's too busy. Now, we usually pay him $75 a day to deliver our cars to us, and of course when he answers saying he cannot get to us right now because he's busy, it makes me wonder what has he got better to do than actually deliver my cars, which is what I employ him to do. So this is why I rate the mechanic 7th most annoying thing on GTA 5 Online. Shit, sorry, I can't get there at the moment. In 6th place, we unquestionably have the time of day and the weather. It always seems that whenever I go to play GTA 5 Online, it is either always raining or it is night time. Now of course when it's raining, the rain is very loud and your cars are very uncontrollable. And of course during the night time, it is very dark and when trying to make videos, it's very difficult to explain something when it's very difficult to see. I'm sure just by saying the three words Morse Mutual Insurance, I won't need to explain why they're extremely annoying. But of course, whenever you try to call Moore's Mutual Insurance and insure a vehicle which has been destroyed, they reply saying, all of their lines are busy right now and there is no way of getting through. Whenever they say this, of course, there is no way of replacing or insuring a vehicle which has been destroyed, even though you have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on it, either modifying it and insuring it. I find this very annoying, which is why it's in fifth place. The fourth most annoying thing about GTA 5 in general are the loading screens. I'm sure you will all agree the loading screens do take forever, even from the second where you put your disc into your console and you try to load the game up. Even when you go to GTA 5 Online, the process doesn't get any quicker, if anything it slows down depending on your internet connection. Which of course makes the process of ranking up, gaining money and completing missions even slower. It does take a very long time to establish your position on GTA 5 Online, which is possibly one of the main reasons why people do resort to cheating, hacking and modding. In third place we of course have the police, who for some reason decide to give you a wanted level for just about everything. As you can see in this part of the video, all I was doing was looking at the police officer, but he decided I deserved a wanted level, punishable by death. I personally think the police are too overpowered on GTA 5, they seem to always get in the way, they're extremely annoying and they give you a wanted level for doing just about anything, which is why I rank them third place in this video. Sweaty campers and tank warriors are in second place. Whenever you try to go out of your garage, there always seems to be someone either in a tank or with explosives camping outside your garage, just waiting for people to come out to kill. This person always seems to be about 10 years old and they will most likely fail in life. But finally, in first place, the most annoying thing on GTA 5 is of course Simeon, who requests every vehicle on the street. It seems to always be whenever you desperately need a vehicle, and you of course go to steal one from off the street, 
As soon as you get into it, you receive a two-star wanted level and an annoying message pops up on the screen saying you must lose the cops because Simeon wants this vehicle. Personally, I think Simeon should go and fuck himself. If you agree, click the like button below the video. So anyway guys, that is just about it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Be sure to just take a few seconds of your time to like the video as it will help me out greatly. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and tell me whether you think there are any more annoying things which I haven't covered in this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already I recommend that you do as I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.